Hi, I'm Dr. Atkins. Today I'm going to be talking to you about rebound congestion, one of the complications of prolonged Afrin use. Afrin is the most common over-the-counter nasal decongestant spray sold in the United States. You may be taking another nasal decongestant spray that's not called Afrin. At the end, I'm going to have a link to a video where I explain all the different types of over-the-counter nasal decongestants so you can make sure you're not on a similar product. To help explain rebound congestion, I'm going to explain the story of a typical patient. A patient gets severely obstructed, can't breathe through their nose due to a cold or allergies or a sinus infection or something like that. So they start taking Afrin. They use it according to the instructions, morning and evening for three days. Now, day four rolls around, they're still pretty congested, and they're like, oh, well, I know they said only use it for three days, but I'm going to go ahead and use it again today. They use it twice a day on day four, don't have any problems. Still congested on day five, they use it twice, no problems. They start thinking, I don't think that three-day thing applied to me. I'm doing great on this stuff. So over a period of time, their congestion persists. Sometimes the congestion is due to the fact that their original problem, like the cold or allergies, has persisted. Other times the congestion is due to using too much Afrin, and I'll explain that. So what happens is they're one, two, three weeks into using it twice a day. It's different for everybody. And then all of a sudden they wake up at three or four in the morning and they're kind of congested. And they're like, that's weird. That Afrin that I was taking before bedtime used to work all night long. But they go ahead and take another dose of Afrin because they're very congested. And that kind of goes on for a few days. And then all of a sudden, they need the Afrin in the middle of the afternoon. And they're like, wow, that's really weird. And then all of a sudden, they're using it four times a day. And then it goes to five times a day. Now, at this point, they're starting to think, hey, I think I know what they were talking about, that only use it for three days thing. But now they're so far into it, they're in a bind. They have rebound congestion. and. They're in a situation where the only thing that's working for them is the Afrin, but the Afrin's not working that well at this point because with severe rebound congestion, the Afrin doesn't last that long, it doesn't work as well, and you get more congested than when you started. So they're in this negative cycle that they can't get out of. I've seen people that are using several bottles of Afrin a day. So that kind of explains how you get into rebound congestion. I'm going to explain to you on a, on a very detailed level how that actually happens and how you get tricked into falling into rebound congestion. So on a microscopic level, here's what's happening inside your nose. For the first three days, when you use the Afrin, your congestion goes away and when it comes back, it goes back to the original level of congestion you had. Now on the fourth day when the Afrin wears off, your congestion goes back not to where you were when you started, but to slightly worse than where you started. And I mean very slightly worse than where you started. So that's why on the fourth day you're thinking, hey, there's no problem, I'm doing fine using it today. Well, then on the fifth day, it's slightly worse. That's why it takes weeks and weeks and weeks for you to realize that you have rebound congestion. Because it's not like on day four, all hell breaks loose, your nose is horribly congested and you're in rebound congestion. It's a very slow and insidious process that gets you into the rebound congestion. So I have three other videos about Afrin. The first, as I described earlier, goes over all the different types of nasal decongestants and things you need to watch out for in terms of packaging and labeling and things that might confuse you. The second one is about the two types of patients that get addicted to Afrin, and by addiction I mean get rebound congestion. And then the third one has instructions and a protocol on how you can stop your Afrin addiction. So tune into those other videos, they're linked here in case you need information on those other topics. Thanks a lot.